Cheese. What's up guys? Welcome to another autopilot adventure in the rain, although it's not really raining right now, although it could start any minute because it just was raining. You guys can see the water on the windshield. We're going to engage autopilot right now and we're heading toward that mountain up there. So we're going to actually do autopilot up the mountain. Hopefully, I don't know how to get to the mountain. I guess this road will take us to it. Maybe we'll try to figure it out. Oh, here comes the Model X right here next to us. Look at that. Oh, it's turning right. Look at that pearl white Model X. Oh, so nice. But yeah, so we're going to be heading straight, trying to leave autopilot engaged as long as possible without intervening whatsoever. See if we can make it up the mountain, make it back down the mountain. And see if it rains while we're on the mountain. You know, all that stuff going on. We made it through this intersection fine. It did go a little bit over to the left, but it recenter itself really easily. This guy got over and the car suddenly wants to stop. So I'm going to override it with the accelerator because that's really dangerous, especially when someone's behind us. Although the guy behind us was turning to so it didn't really affect us but that's really dangerous you got to pay attention to that because for some reason when a car leaves out of your lane autopilot decides to slow down and check to make sure it's clear up ahead i guess that's the only reasoning i can think behind it but it's not safe whatever we're heading straight to the mountain that's what matters right now let's see what we got going on the roads over here actually look pretty dry now there's some water it did rain over here and, it, and there's a ton of clouds at that mountain right there so let's see if it's pouring and the old man is snoring because we need some ASMR action right now. Okay, we got about five seconds to make it through this light before it changes, and we're just barely gonna make it. Going through this intersection just fine, super straight, no problem. Now we're gonna start going uphill around some curves. See, our watt hours are currently at 203 watt hours per mile, which is a little bit higher than we were on the rest of the drive. Although we are going uphill now, so we are gonna be using more power. Although when we come back downhill, we'll gain back the power that we lost going up the hill. I think that's how it works. So that's pretty cool. All right, we got this little curve here. Someone's jogging out here. It must not be raining. All right, so now we're going downhill and it looks like we're not actually regaining anything. <laughs> I was told that you regain it when you go down, you regen, but we're just, we're still using. Huh, I don't know, maybe when we come down a steeper incline, I'm not sure. I know when you come to a stop, it does it. Maybe because it's maintaining the speed. I have no idea. I was told when you go down the hill, you regain what you use going up the hill. I'm not sure how true that is, because right now it's not doing anything. But anyways, the mountain's right there. Oh, wow, look at that mountain, you guys. Wow, that looks, okay, it looks like we have to turn somewhere. Although, it looks like we can go straight, but we have to get over. So, we have to disengage. We're gonna get over here and go straight. I don't know if it's gonna be gated off or what, because there's houses in there, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we got a green light. Green means go. Let's turn on autopilot. Let's see how we can make this. Uh, nope. It could not make that whatsoever. It looks like it's gated too, so we're gonna have to turn around. <laughs> we're gonna have to find a different mountain. Non-residents use the entrance on Arizona Biltmore. Okay, so we're gonna have to, I don't know where that is. I'm assuming we would turn right to get in. But that was pretty cool. <laughs> Actually not cool, it was kind of scary. Didn't want to make that straight shot because they couldn't see the line. I think if someone was in front of us though, it definitely would have made it. Although, perhaps not. I guess we'll never know because no one was in front of us. Let's see if we can make it to the mountain. That's what I want. So we'll turn it on. Uh, not yet. So we'll turn it on in a couple seconds. We got cruise control on. Now we can turn autopilot on. We're in our lane. We're going around this curve. We're turning. We're going straight. Whatever. Perfectly fine. No problems here. We're a little bit over to the right, it looks like. Although it doesn't really matter. We're still within our lane. This lane is pretty big, so we have a lot of room for error, I guess. At least we should be getting a nice view. Oh, look at this nice turn here, taking it real smooth. Is this the entrance I was talking about? Maybe. Let's see if this is the entrance. Yeah, this is not the entrance. No trespassing, private property. Okay, looks like I'm making another U-turn here because I'm lost. I don't know where I am going. Eek. If I lived over here, then I'd be able to get in. You guys want to donate to my GoFundMe? No left turns, good. Oh, there's an open house. Lux oh, they probably wouldn't even let me in. <laughs> I'm in a Tesla, though. They, they might just let me in. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if the Tesla still gets you cloud unless you get in. Anyways, let's see. We're going up this bit of a hill, and we're going to make a turn over here. And then there's a left in 600 feet or something. Is this turning left, or is there an actual turn? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, but how do you, I guess you can't get into the mountains anywhere? I'm at the wrong mountains. These are the mountains I want to live at where you can't get into it. All right, right lane is ending and we're going around a turn here. Ooh, 
<laughs> Look at the view, this is kind of scary. Although we're making it, except the lane's ending and there's a Prius in front of us. Ah! I disengaged a little bit because we we're picking up too much speed and trying to go next to the Prius because I thought there was still a lane there. <laughs> Got a little puddle here. We went around the puddle, but I think it was just a coincidence. Oh, Phoenix Mountains right there, quarter mile ahead. We're going to take that one because I think we can go that one. But I think it was just a coincidence we went around that puddle because the Prius was over to the left. I don't know if it followed the Prius or if it saw the puddle and went over if it was just veering to the left. I'm not sure, but at least we didn't hit that puddle. Except we hit that one. And here is where the mountains are that we can get to, it looks like. There's an arrow. Piesto Off Peak, this is it. I've been here before. Now we're going to disengage and make our turn. Now we're down our little residential area. And as you can see, the mountains are right in front of us. And it's sad. I wonder how busy it is because it was raining, so I don't feel like too many people are going hiking in the rain. This road is extreme. I have my hand on the wheel. This road's extremely wide and it's getting a little confused with all that garbage on the road that they use to patch it. They should just redo the whole road. We're going up the hill. We're going down. Ooh. Going up. Yeah, I have my hand on the wheel. Slow down. Oh, there's a speed bump. <laughs> this autopilot does not slow down for speed bumps. Although I guess I should just drop my speed down a little bit. There's no one behind us or anything, so we're good. I'll just go down to 20. We get chill here. There's a gate ahead. Is it open? <laughs> you know that it could be closed because it's raining. I don't know. But the mountains look super nice. Look at that. Got the clouds on it. That's a view right there. No smoking outside of an enclosed vehicle, that's good. Got another speed bump here, we're going 20, which I feel like should be okay. Yeah, I felt fast still. Jeez. <laughs> okay, the speed limit's 15, we're gonna go 15. Stop taking these speed bumps super hard, that's probably not good for the car. Can't wait till it slows down at speed bumps, that'd be great. We're going up a hill. Wow, you guys can see these mountains look so nice, huh? Wow. Oh, there's a lot of people here. I mean, it's a really nice day unless it starts pouring while you're at the top or something. Then what do you do? Like, you can't go anywhere. Here, we got another speed bump here, but we're going 15 this time. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just start slowing down at speed bumps now because those are terrible. Wow. Okay, I don't think this is the mountain where you can, like, drive around it. So I guess we have to do that another day, because we're already here. It's like opposite ends of the spectrum. But we're taking this road very nicely, other than the speed bumps. I guess we'll just keep going until it ends. I'm not really sure where this is going. I thought we were going to go up a mountain, but it looks like we're not. Okay, here comes a speed bump. I'm just taking over right now. I'm going over this super slow this time. Yes, like that. Now we, now we can't re-engage. I wonder if it's going to let us re-engage. There we go. It says the speed limit's 25 here, but the sign's at 15, and there's construction going on here. Oh, I'm going to definitely get some pictures while I'm here, though. Oh, my God, a speed bump. <laughs> Park closed, new construction, no access to trails. I wonder what they're doing. They're building, like, a rest area, I guess. Is it even considered a rest area? I don't even know what it would be considered. It's like where you start the hike, right? A little chill area, chillax, relax. I don't see people, but I see cars. And some of them are coming from over here, so I know this goes up higher. We're going uphill right now. And we got another speed bump, of course. It's not slowing down fast enough. <laughs> There we go. I'm not real sure what to keep the speed at. I mean, I guess we're just chilling and looking at the views. That's nice. How, well, maybe we are going up the mountain. I don't know. Unless this is the end right here. It might be the end. There's cars parked there. I thought it curved around more, but I'm not sure. We're taking this turn on the double yellow line. I'm not sure why. I mean, we have a lot of wiggle room over here. And now we're going to probably freak out. Is it going to stop? <laughs> 
Okay, so we're at the dead end. It didn't want us to take over because it got rid of the lane lines, although I don't think it was because we were about to crash into a wall. <laughs> but it looks like we made it all the way up. I guess there's nothing else to do but go back down. Although I'm gonna stop and get some pictures somewhere. I'm not sure where. Should I just do it here? You know what? Why not? I'll just stop right here. I mean, I'm already right here. I'm at the end. Might as well see what's up. Better watch out for some rattlesnakes. <laughs> yeah, we made it up, sort of up the mountain, whatever. So that's pretty cool. Not really too many issues, except for when we tried to go over that hill in that intersection, as well as right here at the end when it got confused. And then the speed bumps were bad. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Hopefully we're going to go up a mountain next time. Oh, those clouds are on the mountain. That looks so nice. But yeah, it's a cool drive, I guess. It's pretty simple. Slow, chill, got a nice view. And follow me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one.